is another another way to treat the the withholding taxes okay so i'm going to invoice a, a customer so here you're looking at the withholding receivable or withholding um, asset so i'm going to create an invoice for um, a customer customer called kwame ando good i'm going to invoice him for this particular service I'm going to do quantity two. Go making two thousand. I'll go ahead and save and close. Now I'm supposed to receive two thousand from customer call Miami. So I'll go to receive payments from Kwame Ando. So you realize the I select Kwame Ando, you see the invoice that I just entered for Kwame Ando popping up as uh, not paid for. Okay, good. so this is the invoice. So let's say Kwame Ando is paying, he's giving us 1,800 and it's been holding 200 cities. So I will see my payment into my, so it means that the transfer into our center back CD account. I'll do save a new. And the 200 CDs remaining on this particular invoice is for withholding. So, what I'll do is that I'll make sure that I send this into um, the withholding account to clear Kwame Ando's balance. So, Kwame Ando currently owes me 26, but he has detected this, this 26 for. As we loading. Okay, so that's how you do it. So I'm just waiting for, for the the bill, the invoice to pop up so that I can record the so you realize that the original amount was two thousand and the amount that is unpaid is two hundred. So let's say this two hundred was the withholding. So I just type two hundred here and put it into my withholding. Holding receivable account. Seven new. So you realize that Kami and Dos balance is cleared. He does not owe me any money. So that's how you, you record them. Um, let me just select Kami and Dos. Kami and Dos. You realize that there will be no invoice showing up. Okay, there's no invoice showing up. You see, there's no English showing up. Yes, finish paying his business. Thank you.